Ah, welcome back viewers. Well, we have one uh, successful, albeit short, video on in our underneath our belts, in our belts, tucked hopefully securely. We shall see, but uh, for now, let's invade this castle. I actually think I did better than I did last time. I only lost one genie this time. I think I lost two the last time. Got a whole bunch of... Oh, you know what I should do? Sorry, I should have done this for you guys already. Uh, before now. Um, uh, you know, and there might be a hero lurking around here somewhere. I don't want him to just come in and take our castle automatic. Uh, what I really need to do... Did they even build a mage tower yet? Oh, you jerks. I can't build one myself. Until next turn. I need a mage tower there so he can recharge Milana. I'm not moving him anywhere for a little while. Um, I need to move her back to town and pick up any troops that I can. What day is it? Day five. Okay, well. We'll see. You know, I'm going to try to pick up some resources with her, but... It's important that I keep her strong. She is my only real defense uh, here. So we're going to... How much gold do we have? Okay, yeah, I can do that. A little low on gold next turn. But, uh... So be it. This guy should make up for some of it. Uh, so we got a charm against curses. That, uh... We are immune to curse spells. That could be very good. I don't know what uh, they got exactly. Oh, that sucks. I wish I hadn't won that. Uh, spiked shield increases your... Oh, in case you couldn't read that, that costs us 250 gold a turn. So that's a negates the equivalent of a town. Uh, spiked shield increases attack and defense by two. That is great, especially for a magical hero who doesn't generally have that stuff. Uh, white Pearl, Spell Power and Knowledge, one each. That's awesome. And we already had Endless Bag. We, oh, did we start with that? That's cool. 750 gold in there. Might explain why we've had so much gold uh, at our disposal. Uh, okay, let's turn the page. Hopefully nothing too bad happens. Red... Hero is coming down. He probably thinks he's gonna do some kind of damage. What kind of stall? Oh, he's got nothing. He'll probably just try to pillage our resources in one fashion or another. Uh, let's see if we can build a mage tower here. Not something I'm too crazy on doing. How much spell points does he have? Three out of thirty. Uh, how important would it be versus other things I could build? Oh, God, they didn't build anything, dude. Oh, they built a tavern. Uh, guess I might as well. <clears throat> really wish they'd have built that. Already. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and risk getting this coal mine. And we'll come back. If they have a hidden hero, that would suck, but, uh... It shouldn't be too powerful. It's not day seven, is it? No, so we're good. Um, looks like 500 seconds or so is the mark last time, so that's reasonable place to be. Uh, I'm gonna bring my hero, take this gold. Oh, I didn't get that artifact this time? Eh, uh, it sucks anyway, it's not, probably not going to be useful to us. Ah, see, this is a... Uh, dwarves recognize join our forces. That's a random dwarf, by the way. Uh, which also means I would think that if you let him... Oh man, I can't do it, I forgot to get the mercury, didn't I? Oh man, uh, I want that, so I'm going to have to get... I didn't get the... the oh, I spent it, uh... Can I get is I have to wait a turn. That guy's probably gonna take it all, so I'm gonna have to pass. That sucks, but uh, I really wanted that movement. Really wanted that movement, but oh well. Oh, he didn't take all the mercury, so Let's see if I can get some of it. And 
and go back and get the boots. I hate to waste time, but I really need those boots. That'll pay dividends. Ultimately, get back to where we can protect our... Yeah, I could take the mercury thing, but they'll probably just take it back. This guy... Oh, you know what? He Did he just go sense the empty castle and he was like, Oh, can't resist. Hmm, did I recharge my magic here? No, so he needs to spend a night in the castle. Oh, there's a mercury place up here too, so uh, I'll be cool with that. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, the dwarves are going to comprise basically my assault force, uh, or my next assault force. I don't think I can get over there in time for the other guy. Potentially, it really depends. Uh, so... You don't really want to run into that guy. He's got so much spell power and stuff. Oh, so this guy's over here taking all the resources. He didn't have nothing. I ain't scared of him. Picking up more dwarves. It looks like I might have gotten more than I did last time. Huh. So, I would guess and say that is not... Uh, determined before uh, that's not determined when the map rolls that must be determined when you encounter them so if you just wanted the max number of dwarfs possible you could just keep saving your game before you uh, click on them and then s just seeing how many you could get or or whatever um, I'll just take the sulfur mine it's always good to have resources I'm not gonna Engage those guys. They wouldn't give me much XP. Uh, I still don't have a great deal of enthusiasm in my LP because it's like I just don't really trust that it's not going to fail on me. It'd be nice. I really just want to play and have fun and be relatively secure and knowing that my videos will see the light of day and all that sort of thing, but uh, it just doesn't work out. It's so frustrating. It's frustrating, you know? Let's see if I can build anything over here, then I'll probably encode. Probably stop the video, yeah, it's gonna be short. Um, and I really don't have any definite impression on whether or not I'll be successful in this map as of yet. But uh, with that, I'm gonna sign off. This is Bezlinier. Signing off of another episode of Let's Play Heroes of Might and Magic 2. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you next time.